guys, this channel is all about being transparent. I've got the van back from the tuna, had the EGR worked on, the DPF worked on, a retune. They found cracks in the exhaust manifold, so I had to wait from a, for a new exhaust manifold to get back from Germany. Then I said, you may as well go over the brakes. The brakes have got weathered lines, so now I'm waiting on new lines. The handbrake cable must have broke when I got the diff changed over. And then I got it home and it was dripping and dripping and dripping. So there's actually the, the inlet on the turbo, the drain, the drain pipe on the turbo, the bolts holding the drain to the turbo were actually finger tight. So I've been in here the last two nights trying to get, get it. I've just got the one I couldn't get. And now I'm just going to nip up the one that I could get and just double check it's all good. Clean up all the leak, make sure that was the leak. Um, the mechanic thought it was a braided line. I'll give you a quick look. So there's obviously a braided line down there. They thought it was that that was leaking, but it was actually the two bolts under here, under the turbo holding the drain to the bottom of the turbo, they were loose. So what was happening was the oil was dripping down it, following the pipe all the way down onto the braid. So I got the van home and found that myself which isn't good enough, but it is what it is. I'm just trying to be transparent with everyone. I got it retuned, makes 84 kilowatt at the wheels and 474 Newton meters, which I think, so that's 69 kilowatts to 83 and 370 to 470 Newton meters. So we went up a hundred uh, Newton meters and about uh, 20 kilowatt, which is good. Um, but yeah, now I'm just trying to get rid of this oil leak and then we're going away for the weekend or for two weeks soon. Um, so I'm just trying to get this perfect for that. And then we're going to drop it back at the mechanic to get the brake lines and the handbrake cable looked at. And then it's pretty well ready to go. But yeah, I'm just trying to be transparent with this because I'm actually fuck, probably like 10 grand deep just in maintenance so far. Which is fucking, as you all know, I spent an extra 13 grand just to get it. So it's a bit depressing, but I'd rather get all this stuff done. We've got brand new lines throughout the whole the whole van. So I'd rather get all this done now than deal with it on, on the middle of the highway around Australia. So Alright guys, this is deja vu. We've legit picked the van up the day we're going to travel, or the day before. Typical, another six hundred and twenty dollars later. I'm now like almost eleven thousand dollars deep in this think which is as you know the story depressing because i was meant to get it for 13 grand cheaper than i paid for it but oh well it's all gonna be worth it in the long run let's pump another couple hundred bucks into this fucker and go on holiday carp frenzy 2024 let's go bring your mum along on this trip she's never done a carp frenzy with us so we're all going van's running good so far, we haven't even moved yet. Just double check we've got RAA. Plugged into 240 volt. Everything's running perfectly. The new wheel chocks are pretty shit. We're gonna have to get some better ones. But everything's killer. Everything's online too. We got we got the app for the fucking charger, app for 240 volt, app for solar, app for the fridge, app for everything. And then shout out to my brother, dip shit. Doesn't even bring the pegs for the swag, so mum, we had to do some home remedies for mum's bed.
やっちゃう It is carp frenzy day. Look at the amount of people here. And the beach is just lined up for kilometres the whole way around the lake. But it's the day you don't catch any fish because there's so many baits in the water. All right, so at the end of the day, you fucking get a tub of carp, you chuck them in your fucking boot. Woo! You drive down to the footy club, you get them all weighed and every kilo of carp is a raffle into the main prize which is what i think like five thousand dollars so right now we're currently driving there with a car full of carp and it smells like fucking shit <laughs> oh, i'm gonna wash that carp oh, down with a yeah. beer and we better wash it down with a beer Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't say anything. <laughs> One job. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. One job. Oh, <laughs> On the way to the pool. Got ice cream, cream van. Gets the better of me. Off? Bought everyone an ice cream. Jason up here to do some speckies. Wow. Wow. Help. Right. Five thirty. We all stomp back help. down to the footy club and we have a big conference. And we win hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars and kayaks and Weber Qs. And, and we, beer! And <laughs> a mechanic that uh, has just started up here in the last year or so. His wife's Jody, who has been involved with the car frenzy for probably the last five years. At <laughs> Straight away. As soon as the comp finishes. Oh. Hello, my name is Diego. Diego. <laughs> oh, blow up! That's a hit! Oh, Wait, put a joint in his mouth. Oh. Oh. That rod's about to go off. Alright guys, we came home from Lake Bonnie last night, watched my mate fight at the Adelaide Oval. He got the win. It's not the win that we wanted. The other guy got disqualified because he needed him in the face on the ground. Uh, but it is what it is. So we've just slept in our own bed last night, packed the van up again, and now we're heading to somewhere up on the Flurio Peninsula. We're going to try to stay at Rapid Bay tonight. We're waiting on a reply from the owners to see if there's any room if not we will find deep creek we'll have to find somewhere else to stay but we're just going to stack up on some food and a few more goon bags of water one thing we have to learn is that money doesn't grow on trees and because we're real fussy eaters like i'm between keto and carnivore diet and alicia's just like whole foods so shopping is not going to be cheap no matter where we go but some dark chocolate. Yeah, it's something we're gonna have to work on on the road because at the moment we got money coming in and we're just on holidays. But when we don't have money coming in constantly, we're gonna have to be pretty wary on what we do. Just a mental note the van's a bit bigger than a normal car. I actually have an OBD reader plugged into the OBD sensor that's reading like pretty well the whole engine what the whole van's doing and I think since I changed the diff the liters per hundred kilometer out of whack and I just had it retuned 
and I'm looking at it, I'm like, fuck, surely I'm not burning fucking 25 to 30 litres per 100 kilometres. So I just went and filled up, and I've done 485 kilometres, and the tank only took 68 litres. So then I put that into a kilometre calculator, and we're actually using 14 litres per 100, which is fucking really good. Like, for a four ton bus, dual axle, that's screaming up the Barossa all the way to the Riverland to up the hills of Turo, doing 110. 14 litres per 100 is actually unreal, so happy with that. Second cast. <laughs> lift it over, lift it over. <laughs> Good. Don't let, it, don't let it go down the crack. Don't let it go down the crack. Put it on the concrete. Bring it forward, forward, stop. <laughs> Leisha just got one. Good girl. Done. <laughs> Did, <laughs> yummy! <laughs> Normally I have the tool that turns them inside out and strips them and everything, but every time we catch squid, we don't actually think we're going to catch them, so we don't bother bringing it. That's the first catch and cook in the van. How good. And for those of you who don't know me, they call me they call me the Sethley King because I catch a lot of cephalopods. So get used to that. Alright, we're going for a walk over to the Rapid Bay cave out the back there. We're just gonna bring some cucumbers and a bit of salt. If you don't know, now you know. The best healthy snack. Oh! Yahtzee! Yahtzee! Grab that. Have a look at this. <laughs> it's crazy living this life. Chocolate tap on. Go in the shower. Let's flick your switch. 
so when you get wet, there's your shower. <laughs> oh, unreal. Unreal. Have a look at that. This van life thing, I think we're getting good at it. Hardly any mess. Oh. Couple of dishes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we've just gone to Second Valley, had a bit of lunch, breakfast. Now we're going to Ngala Falls to check out the waterfall. Hopefully the water's running. And Alicia's just booking the scrub campsite right now, which is a hip camp. Uh, we've got a dam view site, so hopefully we'll be by dam on this, uh, I think it's 150 hectare farm stay that's farming sheep and cattle at the moment. And they have like an outdoor camp kitchen, full, full camp style, so that'll be good. So. We'll Bring you with us. Have a look at this. A whole swimming hole at the top of Ngala Falls. I don't recommend climbing up here if you're not agile, but wow. Alrighty guys, have a look at this campsite. Right in front of the dam. Boom. Have a look at this. Look at this killer camp kitchen. Basketball hoop for kids. More water there. It's a sand pit. Rope climb. Swing. Little veggie garden there. And everything you could ever imagine or need for a campsite. Basin, fresh water, rainwater, books, coffee, tea, gas barbecue, another basin, hammocks, more water, bikes, little go karts, huffy slider. <laughs> I might have to have a go on that. Dartboard over there. Wow. This is amazing, really. Then we've got the little van down there. So what have you done today? Um, went for a swim. Oh, yep, yep. You would have seen a Darwin bus. Yeah, yeah, like Darwin. <laughs> This place is unreal. So deceiving from the road. This beautiful Belgium cafe that overlooks this creek through Inman Valley. guys that's all another trip done and dusted testing out the van everything went perfectly we got the brakes getting done when we get home then we got the inverter and a smart shunt being put in and then it's pretty well ready to go so hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe comment if you want to see anything else
where you want us to go and um, a couple months ago and then we're on the road full time. <laughs>